Russia's latest atrocity is a cruise missile hit on a seaside high-rise not far from Odessa. A nearby resort building with people inside was hit too, with children among the dead. We heard the strikes and we helped the survivors and carried away those who died, said this neighbor. If there was a military target in the area, it wasn't obvious. Ukraine claims Russia has fired more than 200 missiles in just the last two weeks, more than twice as many as in the first part of June, including that deadly strike on the Kremenchuk Mall. In Kyiv, there was a moment of silence for the Odessa victims and later applause as the flag of the European Union was brought into Parliament. President Vladimir Zelensky urged parliamentarians to expedite their work to make EU membership a reality. We do not want all Ukrainian mornings to start as tragically with Russian missile strikes like the one today, he said. A day earlier, Ukraine scored a military victory when its own strikes forced Russian troops to abandon the strategically significant Snake Island off Odessa. Russia's attack Friday may be payback. But even as missiles destroy homes and lives in many Ukrainian cities, even in frontline spots such as Kharkiv, life feels busier and more normal than it has in months. About this situation. Yeah. In the capital, we met yeah. Sasha Petristia, an actor who said people Even, have learned to live uh, double lives, smell. one where the war is everywhere and one where it is less yeah. so. You see people who drink uh, uh, coffee and uh, rest, it's in, like another planet. He was on a 10-day break from his military unit, where as an infantryman, he saw combat on the dangerous Donbass front. But he spent his time off rehearsing and performing on stage. Before, the only weapon I ever saw was fake on the set of my theater, he said. I'm not a military man, but I am helping my army, helping my country, so I can get back to my previous life. Rescue officials here, in fact, are worried that people may be letting their guard down too much, that there are now so many air raid sirens that rather than going to a shelter, people are ignoring them. Chris Brown, CBC News, Kiev.